good afternoon all. I've been sort of asked on several times a few questions, so I thought it might just be easier for me to make a small little YouTube video and let you sort of just have a look for yourself. So the questions I've been asked is, why do we make the move to Mallorca? How do we make the move? And what, how are we getting on up to this moment in time? So cut long story short, what we did, I was originally working for the University in Canterbury as a um, coach driver. So the company I worked for lost a contract, so obviously I was made redundant. That was middle of, middle of last year. But we'd owned an apartment over in Acuna for about four or five years previous to this. And we used it as a holiday home. So the, when Paul told me we were all, you know, the few of us were going, I spoke to Trudy, the wife, and we decided, as we've been talking about moving over here for quite a while, that maybe this is what we needed. Because when you've got a reasonably job, good, well-paid job, it's hard to sort of cut your life off and get on with something different. But when you haven't got anything to lose, it's quite easy to make the move, isn't it? So what we decided to do was put the house on the market and just basically see how it went. So around the values came, he gave, she told us our house was worth quite a lot of money. So we decided to sell it, pay off the mortgage and the loans. And then obviously we'd have the place over here. And because I'm very, you know, I don't know if I'm frightened of making the wrong move or whatever, you know, if all fails, that sort of thing. So we decided to buy a static caravan in St. Mark, which near Dover. So it seemed a, a quite a good idea. So we came over here in February of last year, 2017, with my transit van filled up with everything, furniture, you know, all that sort of stuff from home. And then we left ourselves with a static caravan in England, just with our personal possessions in and clothes. So over we came in February, we decided to get everything nice and tidy over here. So when we came with our cat and dog, it wasn't too much of an upheaval for them because it was going to be a long journey down here from Folkestone in the first place. So we came down for two weeks, then we went back home. And in April, beginning of April, over here we came, armed with a cat and a dog, and everything else we we needed to start it going. You know, make sure we had enough food, cat food, dog food, and such like. And that's how we started. So in our caravan, we, I got full permission to leave my van in the caravan park with all our personal possessions from the caravan. So obviously, back at home, I called it home, but back in Dover, I've got my van up there filled up with all our bits and pieces from the caravan. So when the season finishes here and I finish work, we shall possibly go back to England to stay in the caravan over the Christmas period and come back here ready for the next season in February, March time of next year. So we have a good two months, you know, maybe 10 weeks back in England. So, as I said again, we drove over here, we drove to Folkestone, got on the Euro Tunnel, over to Calais, that was obviously 35 minutes or so, and then we had the long journey from Calais to Barcelona, which took around about 16 hours, because we had to stop plenty of times because of the animals. So we got to Barcelona in the evening of the Monday, we left, left the Folkestone on the Sunday, travelled all day Sunday, got to Barcelona Monday about 9 or 10 o'clock, one or the other, and then we got the eight hour flight, um, eight hour boat, sorry, from Barcelona to Palma. So obviously we got here at sun, um, Tuesday morning, and that was a long time for the cat and dog, so I was really chuffed how we managed to, what we managed to do last time we were here with the furniture and such like. So that's basically the move. We had to get, as you know, we had to get NIE numbers before we could buy the apartment. Before you buy anything really over here of value, you have to have an NIE number. Then you have to have, to enable you to work, you have to have a social security number. And if you're going to be here for any more than six months, I do believe, you have to have a residence number. You don't have to, you have to have one legally, but you know, you can get around and like can with everything. 
So we decided not to get our, our residency this year in case it doesn't work out because it's a lot of uh, rigmarole again to undo your residency to live back in England. So we're going to give it this year as a trial to see how it all works. But so far so good. I've been doing this sort of this YouTube and Facebook now for a couple of months. I'm really happy doing it. It's given me a lot of enjoyment showing you all around the island as much as you do. Answering your questions on the hotels and the areas and such like and anything else I'm very, very happy to help you with your you know what you can do and what you can't do basically. So so that's it in a nutshell what we've got. So we came over here in April in Trudy's car with the cat and the dog with the arm and stuff. So we've got Trudy's car over here and we've also bought two bicycles which I mean I do love driving over here. It's not nothing at all like Britain. It's there's not hundreds and hundreds of cars there everywhere. It's a pleasure to drive. All the locals are really really pleasant. I don't speak much Spanish at all even though I'm learning. However they really, you know, you can meet in the middle somewhere with sort of a little bit of French, a little bit of Spanish and what they know in English. You can make yourself, and of course now you've got your Google. If you do happen to need something, you've no idea what you're talking about, you've got Google Translation, which really does help. So my job, well, I work for the blanket trips. So basically what I do in the morning for a couple of hours or so, I go around to the hotels and sit in the welcome meetings. And then I sell, I don't sell it because it's free, but I give away this trip. And what the trip basically is, I pick, I don't, the, the coach driver picks up the people from the hotel with me in it. I then talk on the microphone as we go around picking the different people up from their various hotels. And then we go to Santa Maria which is quite a little sleepy little town just below below the middle of the country where we sit in a, like a presentation basically on wool products where the saleswoman tells you how brilliant the wool is for you and you know the how you sleep better and basically all that side of it and then when you've bought your stuff or you don't buy your stuff whichever the case then we drive down to the next step, next place where we spent two, two and a half, three hours depending on how much time we've got in an area, a fishing village, like a supermarket type of place we spent, we were there the other day, and then you have a couple of hours there, with your bars, your cafes, or whatever you choose to do, and then we bring you back to um to resort, and it's the feedback I get, people do quite enjoy it, and of course you know more and more people get to know me by my sight, so you know people are actually getting to know who I am now, which is quite good. So I love meeting people, as you're probably aware, and I love talking to people, that's obvious. <laughs> so that basically, that's where we are at the moment. If you'd like me to cover anything for you, whether on Facebook, a little film in a little area, you've been here before, you know, you'd like to see what it's like now, been here years ago, what's it like these days, anything at all, anything whatsoever, please get in touch and I'll do it. But that, that's where we stand at the moment, and I'm hoping I'll do catch up videos every now and then. I mean, we came here properly in April, so we're up to sort of three or four months now so far, aren't we? It's just, you know, in, we're in July now, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's really piping hot. I know you are in England, but what more do you want? You know, we don't have to run anymore. That is the worst bit about England, isn't it? You have to run and you're always answering to somebody. Well, we're answering to people here, obviously, but it doesn't seem to be that horrible thing anymore. It doesn't seem to be you're always scared of what you got or what you haven't got. So basically, that's that. I'm going to post this on YouTube now, so hopefully I'll get some really good comments. If you don't know who I am, I'm Andrew, and I've got Loving Life Mallorca, M-A-L-L-O-R-C-A, -L -L which is a Facebook and my YouTube, and I've got lots and lots and lots of different videos and Facebook posts and everything from everybody. I'd love you to come and subscribe to me and watch me, and obviously join me on, on my travels on you, um, Facebook. But thank you very much for your time, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.